uh, filming my new solar setup at 48 volts now. I've got two panels hooked up like that. Two 250 watt panels to make 500 watts like hooked up with a negative to the positive. Monocrystalline panels. That's them on the roof. I've got six panels on this side and six panels on the other side of the roof there. So 12 panels all up. So two panels connected up together and I've got so those two connected up together those two connected up together and those two connected up together same on the other side of the roof so I've got six breakers circuit breakers this is now a 48 volt setup so the other video that I've got shows how I've got all the wires running down Everything's exactly the same, it's just a 48 volt setup now. It's looking a lot neater than it used to be. And that's it there. Solar comes down. The wires come down through the positive and negative for each two panels. And there's the six breakers. So one breaker for two panels, another breaker for two panels, and another breaker for two panels. So all up, that's one side of the shed and that's the other side of the shed. That's the east side of the shed and that's the west side of the shed breakers. And they all run down up now to that bus bar, the positive. And all the negatives run around there to the negative bus bar. And then from the negative bus bar, I got them running down and up into the charge controller from that negative bus bar. And the positive runs down there under the inverter and up into the charge controller 48 volt inverter electronics 3500 watts so it's a quarter 35 I'll just have a look at the it's the uh, LS 3548KX that's what's um, electronics it's not an inverter charger it's just an inverter and then I've got that running out of the inverter, the, the power running the, the AC, running out of the inverter through a, that, that box there, the junction box into this one. And that's earthed to a stake on the ground outside. So naturally if you touch the live wire here, this will turn off. I've already tested that with a with a thing I brought off eBay, you can test that, so that works good. So then from the charge controller, then it runs, I've got the positive coming out of the charge controller through a breaker and out to the battery. Into that breaker is a 100 amp breaker, that's the positive from the charge controller. And the negative from the charge controller going down to the battery there. These are like battery sense, just to let the charge controller know what's going on with the with the battery just some small wires I've got the cable running into the house for the internet to let me know what the system's doing I've got that running up into there I've got that nice and neat and all just plugs in so that's all good I've got to do a little bit more work with the negative and so far that's running perfect all the batteries down in this cabinet down there right. move that Got eight batteries eight hundred twenty amp hour twelve volt batteries to make forty eight volts so there's four there for forty eight volts and then another four there for forty eight volts and so far so good thanks for watching bye